giving people in the Americas a voice. A view inside the Latin American Public Opinion Project. The fight for democracy often means a fight to be heard. It was risky in those days, in the early days of democracy. In the early 1970s, Peace Corps volunteer Mitch Selickson worked in a remote Costa Rican village. I found that the people were intensely aware of what they were entitled to as citizens. This was a democratic country, and they struggled very, very hard to get the attention of the government to give them what they wanted. But how could their opinions be heard? Through surveys, okay? Because that's the way that they can learn about what people are thinking and governments can get a picture of it. Far more clearly than a protester screaming on the, on the, uh, on the street corner, what are they after? This will tell us what they're concerned with. Inspired, Seligson launched the first poll in what would become the Latin American Public Opinion Project. We can get into the details. Okay, yes, you voted for that candidate, but what was behind that vote? Then we get more deeply into people's values. For more than four decades, tackling issues like corruption, safety, healthcare, the environment, and gender roles. We ask lots of questions that can be considered sensitive, but we get at things that many polls never touch. The Latin American Public Opinion Project, known as La Pop, and its America's Barometer Survey is now almost 30 countries strong. We do actually cover uh, all of North America, Central America, South America, and much of the Caribbean. Pioneering public opinion research. And we have a reputation in the Americas of being an objective organization that really tells it like it is. The latest survey includes more than 50,000 in-person interviews. We do face-to-face -face interviewing in places where people haven't been pulled, okay, and they're happy to express their views. Making it the most expansive survey project in the Western Hemisphere. Quality is important because when we deliver a result, people can have confidence in it. And when people have confidence in a result, then even if it's a result they didn't want to hear, that they, 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 they weren't expecting, they're willing to take it seriously and react to it. For example, just days after releasing data on how residents of Guyana feel about their safety and the quality of their police force. And the president of Guyana announced a 15-point police reform plan. Journalists, lawmakers, and voters alike can access results online for free. We like to think we're making for more accountability on the part of government to respond the citizen wishes. After all, isn't that what democracy is all about? Citizen participating. And each poll builds into a larger historic database. Because the America's Barometer exists as a, as a, as a survey that is conducted regularly in countries over time, we're able to detect patterns over time. The key to success? The questions. We need to ask people in language that they understand. The LAPOP team goes through hundreds of revisions, testing the questions on real people. We need to make sure that we have it right, that we have the, the right word for bribe, or that we have the right way of talking about participation in local government. So every group in every country executes the survey the same way. Here at the La Pop headquarters at Vanderbilt, the team includes professors, grad students, and undergrads with diverse majors and interests. That's been, for me personally, one of the most rewarding aspects of working here at La Pop and with the America's Barometer. We are working at the intersection of pedagogy with the student involvement that we have, of research with the reports that we're, we're producing, and then policy. On this day, computer science and history double major Lawrence Waller explains how La Pop can use a new technology to improve data collection. With GIS applications, you can take the data, plug it in, and check it through 20, 30 different metrics. This is a great chance for me to get real life experience dealing with data in a workplace environment. Waller says he loves working on real world issues. Here, when I sit over at that desk, you know, I'm dealing with these points that are real life people in, in Mexico and in Peru and Guatemala. How can Vanderbilt, you know, small Vanderbilt, make a huge difference in all these different disparate regions? With continued support within and outside the university, La Pop will continue traveling deep into the Americas, doing face-to-face -face interviews and collecting these vital opinions. We are constantly giving back to the public what they gave us. Helping voices be heard.